Hi guys, so I don't know if this is an attempt to troll, but then I have to ask the question, who is he trolling? Because Michael Fabricant, the Wish.com version of Boris Johnson, spoke to Tory hack Andrew Pierce on LBC about allegations of Islamophobia towards Nozgani, a Tory MP. Now she claimed that she raised issues with Boris Johnson back in 2020 and nothing was done about it. So this follows other accusations that Tory whips threatened MPs to vote a particular way. Ghani claims that she was told by the whips that other Tories would be uncomfortable with a female Muslim minister. She said that if she reported things any further, her career would be destroyed. Well, the talking mop had this to say about it. As you say, the timing is interesting. It's not only, I think, uh, open season on the whip's office. I think far more importantly, all this is because it's open season on Boris Johnson and putting pressure on him from the party to try and get him to resign, um, which I think is all very, very sad. Look, you know, prejudice of any kind in modern Britain is pretty pathetic. It was mm. pathetic 100 years ago. It's even more pathetic now when this sort of thing happens. But, uh, you know, ministers, they come and they go. Uh, sometimes it's because you want to refresh the ministerial team. Now, what he's attempting to do here is he's trying to suggest that, look, she, she wasn't um, selected as a minister because, well, you know, Boris Johnson just wants to refresh the team. It's nothing to do with her religion. It's just, you know, maybe she wasn't very good. Sometimes it's because they were useless, sometimes yeah. because they're just average and mediocre and you want to put somebody else in. Um, I think the whole thing actually stinks, uh, the accusation being made by Nazgani. I mean... For her to say that someone had said it's because she's a Muslim, I mean, she's hardly uh, someone who's obviously a Muslim. I mean, I she's hardly someone who's obviously a Muslim. Now, <laughs> what a ridiculous statement to make. So because she doesn't look like a Muslim in, in his eyes, then she has no case here. So because she, is it because she doesn't wear a hijab? She doesn't wear a burqa. Is, is that uh, the criteria for being a Muslim in Michael Fabrican's eyes? Now, as I said before, I don't know if he's trolling here or if he is, who is he trolling? Is he trolling the MP in question? Is he trolling the public? Is he trolling the listeners? Is he trolling the Conservative Party? Is he trolling people who want Boris Johnson to resign? What the, what the heck is he doing? And how dare him say a state make a statement like that because she wasn't obviously a Muslim? What once again? Is it his narrow mind? Okay, in in his, in his eyes, this is what a Muslim is, and this is what a Muslim isn't. And you can't, you know, you unless you look like one in his eyes, uh, you don't really have a case. I had no idea what religion she is. I mean, the Labour MP, Keith Vaz, who was of uh, South Asian origin, he actually, I do know, because we discussed it, he's no longer an MP, but he was a Goan Christian. So what he's trying to say here is that, well, look, for me, uh, it doesn't make any difference. But if you were not the, you're not a member of the whips, you're not one of the whips. You're not one of the members of parliament who may have complained to the whips. You're not Boris Johnson. I know you're the wish.version, wish.com version of him, but you're not Boris Johnson. So there's no point saying what you thought. It, what you thought is irrelevant. It's what the party did. It's what the whips did. And it's what Boris Johnson thought because he was ultimately responsible. So this was dis this is disgusting behavior on behalf of the Conservative Party and the statement that she's not apparent by Michael Fabricant just reinforces the I think the the argument that this MP is making. Let me know in the comment section guys what you think as always your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.